Don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, if you're a hater, just click the X at the right of your screen. If you want the access to exclusive content, follow us over there onto Patreon. All of the links to access my content are in the description box below. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know what is going on over there on Patreon. I have added new tiers on to my patreon with extended access to me um i have not actually offered these readings before but now um i'm doing one-on-one -on -one phone calls so feel free to either upgrade your subscription or to go ahead and join that third or fourth tier um the fourth tier is where i have the one-on-one -on -one readings um, this is going to be a rando read. We're getting in here and kind of looking and seeing how the people are viewing you right now, how your family's viewing you, your partner, crush, you know, exes, yada, yada. We're going to go ahead and get in here and see what you need to know. Let's see how people are viewing you right now. How are people viewing you right now? Okay. Contracts and as like contracts and agreements moving. Okay, so um, I definitely get that people right now are viewing you as open. Like you're looking like you're open for business or open for negotiations. All right, there is something about an evolution of self, an evolution of soul. People are getting that from you. People are seeing that from you. Okay. Um, they view you as somebody who takes time before making a decision. You're not going to make any kind of split decisions. You are definitely looking towards finding stability or getting things under control. There's something about you know how to handle your finances. People look at you this way, okay? You're like, oh, if I ain't got it, I'll have it in about two months. Don't worry about it. I got this. And this is giving like big money here, okay? This is giving heavy hitter, big money energy, um... For some of you, you may have recently decided to either take a new position, a new job, or go back to an old job, but it's like you've been gone from this job for some time, okay? I feel like you're making very solid business choices in this time, and people are actually viewing you in this way. It's like damn i wish i could get like so and so this person like they know what they're doing okay this may be the energy that's also got people being i'm not just gonna say attracted to you but it's like coming back around to you wanting to link up people from your past okay that's why i'm saying don't be shocked if you got old bosses reaching out to you in this time like i feel like you are on this shiny and new type energy it's definitely giving oshun for some of you you may have worked with her as of recently um and and things are really starting to look up for you okay i know not everybody you know deals with that but i'm seeing a lot of yellow right here and that just always screams of shoon to me okay um there's something about a prosperous business so um if you are an entrepreneur people see you as it's like you know what you're talking about or you know how to make big money moves it's like you are very solid very sturdy very stable okay how do you feel about yourself in this aspect how do you feel about yourself in this aspect okay two of wands Six of Cups, Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you have your days where you're back and forth on whether or not that you are ready to move forward. I feel like you uh, may feel like you have writer's block or things may possibly go awry, but it's like you keep pushing through it, how you feel about it. Um, it's like looking back. I feel like you may be looking back on how things used to be in the past. It's like reminiscing on when things were easier, things were handed to you. I feel like there may be something of that nature going on with how you are perceiving yourself. Okay. I feel like you are recognizing that you have come a long way. And it looks like what's not seen is like emotionally, you may have let your emotions get the best of you in the past, but it's like you notice like each time you would let something happen, you would put basically another hole in your boat and you're just like, hold on, um, we're sinking here. I feel like there's something about a trial and error um, phase that you may have gone through, all right? And it's like <laughs> you're sitting here wishing things were easy, 
okay wishing things were the way that they were when people were, i guess were i don't know if you were getting handouts or people were trying to go above and beyond to help you but it's like you're now the person who people are coming to for the help okay um people are there are people who are seeing you or have seen you work through these things but it's it's just giving major changes have happened around you to where it's like you're putting things into perspective for yourself you're seeing where you want to go and you're knowing now or if i knew beyond what I know now. So I feel like you are very pleased with the progress that you're making in this time. Okay. I feel like I heard slow and steady wins the race. It's like, it's not a race. It's not a competition, but I feel like you are actually starting to boss up on your own energy. You're seeing exactly how far you've come. I feel like it, you may actually be doing some kind of heart healing for yourself. Like it, it's, it's it, the way that they're showing this to me is you talking to yourself differently soothing your inner child okay working on this um has definitely helped you okay focusing on getting to the next level um not feeling like you are rushed there's something about not rushing yourself to get to the certain stages in life or certain processes you may have tried to rush things in the past before you were ready okay and i feel like there's something about learning trial and error and learning from mistakes this is how you view your situation okay i don't necessarily feel like people see that side of you know you or the things that you have dealt with or been through i feel like you are looked at as a boss okay you're looked at as someone who has their life together has their life in order okay i am also getting that people know that you are protected okay i feel like there's something very protective like I, they're showing me obsidian okay i don't know are you putting those in your plants i feel like there's something that you're doing this could have even been um a ritual of some sort that you <laughs> look it's a diy ritual i don't know but it's kind of looking like um you are growing something and putting stones in your plants or something of that nature i feel like that's really benefiting you in this time okay specifically in regards to your finances it's like i see you end up having way more than what it is that you had started with way more than what it is that you were expecting for those of you who are into gardening um i definitely see your crops are going to be plentiful this year okay or you know while you do the planting situation okay um once again i definitely see people are around you or viewing you as moving on up like the jeffersons it's like you've got the <laughs> god book in this time and i definitely feel like you are sitting back and kind of enjoying the fruits of your labor okay people are seeing you do this but it's like they didn't see the hard work that it took for you to you know get that pull that together to pull your emotions together even though you were going i heard um yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of, of death i will fear no evil okay that's, i don't know that's what i heard randomly so there's something about the trial that you went through Okay, people didn't see that spot of it. Okay, they just saw that maybe or thought that maybe you were just, you know, um, enjoying your time or your energy or your resources for yourself. Okay, um, looking for the next place to invest in or looking in the ne next big investment. I feel like you may have had your emotions stirred, okay, by someone who... I don't really want to say isn't on your level, but mm, like it's just giving, I feel like there was somebody who was possibly trying to stir you up emotionally. I feel like people didn't see what was going on on the back end. Okay. I feel like you wish you could go back and tell yourself how to handle the situation. I feel like you went through this so you could actually help someone else um, who is experiencing some of the same things that you went trials. And I feel like, uh, you may be trying to completely and totally forget about it's like wanting to move away from um the things that you have just dealt with or the things that you've just been through but i feel like there may actually be people like the people who are watching you observing you who are going to be communicating with you trying to figure out how they can do that for themselves okay and i feel like you're going to be letting them in on it wasn't easy it wasn't just you know rainbows butterflies this was actually a lot of deep hard work 
okay and it's giving hard work as far as like um on the spiritual plane because it's kind of given like a dark night of the soul some of you may have just exited that um cycle okay congratulations um but i feel like you may actually have certain insights that you need to share with other people it's like i feel like that's actually going to be the energy that you're going to be in in this next little while okay let's see how your family is viewing you this time I heard, am I the drama? <laughs> Are you the drama? Okay, let's see. How is your family viewing you in this time? How is your family viewing you in this time? <laughs> Someone is down low. Will you marry me? Okay, so, in time unknown. So, I am going to tell you your family you know you got somebody in the family that heavily gossips on your love life your relationships um how you handle things it's um it's giving like infamous okay um i feel like your family feels like you might make a lot of terrible decisions in regards to your love life okay they got a lot to say and i'm getting like singing like a canary okay how does your family see you? We've got King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. You always work. You always work. You don't have time for no relationship. You don't got time for love. You don't got time to be doing this. You need to be doing that, okay? It's giving a little bit, um, why are they trying to hover? I feel like you may have somebody in your family that's actually trying to hover around you. How is your family viewing you? Okay, and so what, what I'm getting is they over here so worried about why you're always at, you're always at work or trying to work so that you don't have to be involved in their mess okay or you don't have to hear about or stories about what it is that's going on in your love life okay with the six of pentacles and i feel like okay so this person specifically we got a lot of backstabbing and betrayal going on with the family right now, okay? Um, I feel <laughs> there's lies here. Someone is down low. Okay, so as far as your family goes, you got somebody in the family that's been spreading lies, okay? Spreading lies on your love life, spreading lies on your romantic partnerships, trying to create, trying to have something to talk about, okay? You got somebody in your family, they've either are doing this right now or have done this and you cut them out, okay? You cut them out and now they're over here feeling butthurt, feeling some type of way, 11-11. Okay, yeah, somebody may have given some kind of opinion, an unsolicited opinion to you, okay? And I feel like you may have, you know, said some very harsh things or you, or they said some harsh things. You said, there's something about like cut off game strong. There's somebody in your family who you have cut off because you have differing belief systems. Okay. And belief systems. If you ha have any other way than, you know, following the flock, I feel like you are the black sheep of the family. Okay. They were not only talking about all the choices you make in love. They're talking about your uh, spirituality, okay? What it is that you actually believe in. Um, if you are of the LBGTQ community, they are, they got an opinion for everything. Boy, I tell you, like, I feel like they want a second chance. I feel like you may have cut this person out or stopped communicating with this individual. You keep all of your information low key. You may have changed your number or blocked this person. They feel some type of way about that and they want to come back in. They need something else. To, they need something else to talk about. Life is really boring when they can't sit there and talk about what's going on with you. They may have been a part of your inner circle at one point in time and got the tea and it's like they just had you know they maybe their their lives are boring okay they need for extended access to this video click the link below to follow us on to patreon or go ahead and connect to the membership only y'all i did um 
have some bracelets that were sent to me from Otter Spirit. Y'all should definitely go and check them out. Um, they're a small business, and each gemstone tells a unique story. So, you know, their authentic gemstones are really cute. I've got, like, three different bracelets. The turquoise, the lapis lazuli, and the rose quartz from Otter Spirit. Um, anyways, go check them out. That link will also be listed in the description box below. Thanks. Bye.